Greetings to you all. I'm so terribly sorry I can't be with you today because the issues you're gathered to discuss, climate change, the efforts of Governor Schwarzenegger and the leaders of other Western states to slow down the warming of the globe are so desperately important. It's unfortunate indeed that there are those who are trying to slow down the progress that is being made. For not only will their children and grandchildren have to pay the price, so will ours. It just means we have to redouble our efforts, try even harder. You all know how important it is that we work across state and political lines as we fight to reduce the production of greenhouse gases and prepare to tackle the consequences of climate change that are already apparent and can only get worse. What you are doing to address this global challenge will not only provide an example for the rest of the country, but it will also send a strong message to the rest of the world that the United States is indeed taking action. As you know, there's a great deal that can be done, both locally and globally, to minimize the effects of human activities on climate change as when policymakers fund the efforts of those around the world who are combating the destruction of tropical forests, or when industries cut back on their greenhouse gas emissions, and when we each strive to reduce our own individual carbon footprints. I especially want to emphasize the critical role of forests in this context. As every one of you knows, destruction of forests, especially tropical forests, releases huge amounts of CO2 into the atmosphere, anything from 12 to 18 percent of global annual emissions. The threats to the remaining tropical forests are many, such as clear cutting for agriculture and also the demand in the developed countries for wood products and for minerals and other natural resources found in forested areas. The plight of the forests and the species depending on them is truly dire. If we don't get together to protect the last great rainforests, we're also jeopardizing the future of our own species, for we too depend on them. I especially want to commend the Governor's Climate and Forests Task Force for the role it's played in including red in California's regulations, because this enables the Western Climate Program to link directly with other climate and forest programs that are evolving around the world. It's when all these efforts are combined that we shall be most effective. I hope that California, the Western states, and all of you attending the Governor's Climate Summit will continue your leadership in fighting global climate change, along with everyone else involved in this issue who isn't present. A great deal depends on our success. And one last word for all those of you who, like me, love the forest for themselves, are in awe of giant trees that have stood deeply rooted in the ground for hundreds of years. Forests are valuable not only for the services they provide, but because they meet a deep spiritual need. The indigenous people of the forests know this so well. And so I hope that your discussions and decisions will be fruitful, and I look forward to hearing the governor's report. Let me end by bringing a voice from the forests of Africa into this room. A greeting from chimpanzees in Africa. <laughs>